so this is one of our um, anatomy pictures of the dermatolog in online Botox course. And you see uh, that the masseta, this, is this muscle, is normally in men um, very, very, very strong. So this would be, for example, one of the differences that we can apply a little bit more in men than in women. Uh, of course, depending on every individual, uh, on every patient. Uh, but this is, for example, one of, the, one of the points to have into account. But also we have to ask um, men uh, when doing Brotox, this is the term that is that is often used. Um, what 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 men would like to look like afterwards? Yeah. What's, what's the desire? Do you have? Do you want to have? You know, like a relaxed uh, appearance with a little bit of wrinkles, but not that accentuated. Or do you want to have completely everything without wrinkles? Uh, and this is why we can, um, when applying botulinum toxin, um, do correction factors, you know, like we apply a little bit more or a little bit less, depending on what the patient wants to have. Also, Estefania, I think, you know, um, with uh, men, they often have, they don't have the curved eyebrows, they have like straight eyebrows. And, you know, um, often if, um, you know, um, men get blocked their forehead muscles, the eyebrows come even lower. So that's often the problem. So I um, try to stay away or be very careful with the forehead with guys. I also, I, I block the corrugator to, um, to lift the eyebrows, but keeping it in the right shape and do like a little eyebrow lift. But I really concentrate on getting, um, on not um, making their forehead too heavy. And I yeah. think, you know, yeah. And we have to we have to apply um, also uh, a good um, amount at the lateral parts of the forehead because otherwise happens what it doesn't Barbara go up has, like this Spock yeah. eye or, or Mephisto eye uh, because because these fibers are not getting relaxed and then it it, it stays a little bit um, strange.